This kink water hose is not a good sign. For sure that was a major restriction and as we'll find out later. So the engine's really dirty and it had some oil still in it and of course it got turned over by UPS so it was kind of messy. Immediately when I took the flywheel and the magneto off I found that it had been standing full of water. You can see the water line there on the flywheel. So off to the car wash I go and pressure wash the whole engine. Lots of mud encrusted in the bottom. Get it back to the workshop. Start taking a close look at it. I had everything covered up so that it wouldn't get pressure washed internally. And obviously there's a lot of dirt ingestion visible in the intake track. Mm. In the reed cage. So mud, not a good sign to find mud in there. Looking in there, not very pretty. Obviously the cylinder has been re-chromed one time before. That's our code from replating. So I'm going to try to turn the engine over and it's locked up tight. Well, this engine sadly has been sucking dirt for quite some time. We have some pretty good evidence here of that. A few additional pictures here of what appears to be mud. The bottom piston ring here is frozen. A lot of blow by. Sometimes people run too rich of a premix ratio and they can cause this carbon build up that, that sticks the rings. Obviously this is a very sick top end, would be way low on compression. And looking here at this coolant line, coolant nipple on the water pump housing, oh, this is not a good sign. That's been plugged for a long time. Honestly, I have never seen this before. Oh dear, this is this is plugged. This is plugged solid. Oh man. This is not good. The water pump impeller was spinning. It was connected. The gear is okay. So it was just spinning water against an obstructed opening. Well, the crankshaft won't turn at all. Ooh, she's locked up tight. Dripping goo. The clutch pack's junk. Fibers separating from the metals. You can see clearly here. And this was a Horbiger clutch original to the bike, so I'm not surprised that it was bad on an 18-year-old motorcycle. I was able to finally turn the engine over using a half-inch breaker bar, and it brought this mud up from the bottom end. It's been standing full of mud. Uh, which, you know, honestly, that's exactly what this is. This is this is mud. So, not exactly sure how it got full of mud. But, um, I was able to get it to turn over. As you can see here. Ugh, this is not good. I can fix this and I have the parts, but obviously what this will cost will exceed the value of the motorcycle.